and you're off to the okay so hi good morning my name is Spencer welcome to the channel if you're new here my uh, vlog is about my journey to becoming a fluent Japanese language teacher if you're returning welcome back let's get started so today I wanted to kind of take a break take a quick break today I wanted to take a break today I wanted to take a Today I want to take today I want to take a, today I want to take a quick break and review storytelling. That just says that just says that just says story. My bad. Hold up. Storytelling. Why? Well, easy. The first thing I want to talk about is yesterday today's uh, yesterday's vlog. Yesterday's vlog uh, had a mess of problems. I filmed the entire day, but I had no story. And um, by the end of the night, I was facing problems from the previous videos, facing problems of the video of the day, and facing issues involving the story. Now, before I get into those, I want to briefly touch about the, why storytelling is important to me. We have a different, a few different videos here, and a couple of these videos I'm in different countries, various countries. I'm going to click this one right here. It's a great little one. Blah blah blah. You know, walking and walking. Visuals and B-roll. Walking. Okay, so I have been vlogging for quite a period of time over almost two years now it's coming up and I've been studying the craft and practicing a lot of different storytelling and the reason why this is really important to me is because as I move forward I want to evolve I want to get better I want to strengthen the the skill and today's video was just not not skillful it was just a handful of clips of me doing absolutely nothing. Now let me go over a couple of principles of storytelling before I even show you what I even filmed because I'm going to give you an opportunity to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so storytelling is a three act narrative. Whoops. Storytelling comes with a basic three act narrative. Three acts. You're going to have the first part of the act is going to be the setup. You're going to have the second act called the uh, conflict. And then you're going to have the third act called the uh, resolution. Three act narrative. That's it. Setup, conflict, resolution. And in these three acts, you have to explain your idea and your concept as best as you can. And in a short period of time, which is pretty amazing if you're able to practice this. The problem is practicing what to put in these three acts. And the thing about these three acts is that it would not be complete without the story. It wouldn't be complete without the story. The story is king, okay? The story is king. And everything serves the story. You're gonna have yourself camera, characters. You're gonna have yourself a plot. That makes sense. Music, locations. And last but not least, you might have yourself some, uh, I don't know, effects or, yeah, like special effects or transitions. I love using transitions, All right? You're going to have a collection full of stuff. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these, all right? You're going to have most of our story is going to be built off of things like this. The plot, locations, music, characters. Uh, the camera and transitions, things like that, to make it just look cute. All of this, by themselves, mean nothing. A character with no home, right? A character with no location means nothing, right? If there's no plot, there's nothing these guys can do without each other. They need each other, right? If they're just by themselves, it doesn't make sense. You just have a location, a building, a, a, a you know, a... a country, a, a city, a bathroom, a kitchen. It doesn't really matter where you're at. There's nothing going on there. Camera. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you have. You can use your cell phone. Most of the time I use mine. Music. Use free music if you have to. Make your own music if you, if you can, if you're that creative. Plot. Doing action. Transitions. Characters. All this stuff here 
Doesn't matter unless you have... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Unless you have a story. All of that, all of this, all of those pieces serve the story at all times. If you don't focus on your story and if you don't have a story, your entire three-act narrative will just come to pieces. It really will. So the problem I had is that I needed a story. Here, I'm going to show you a couple of clips and you tell me what you think. You know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I just couldn't play. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop being away from it. This is live again. <laughs> All right, um, actually, I have a headache, so I can't meet you today. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't, don't, don't laugh. I'm no. Not <laughs> no, she can't. No, 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 she can't meet today. That's messed up. And you know what? I didn't want to see her anyway. I didn't want to even go. I didn't want to go. Hiro Gohan Tabita. Okay, Tande. Nanji? Nanji? Oh, uh, Nijihan? Seihiro Station? You see, now he's leaving me. He's leaving me now. So everything, everything's falling apart today. Two hours! Well, that means I'm not making any videos till tomorrow. Thanks, peace, bye, thank you, bye. You know, I did a lot of thinking. That gym is not as busy as it would be if it was back at home. Like, for real, like, if I went to any other gym back in the States, like on the first, like the first Saturday? Oh, come on, that place would have been off the chain. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. We're gonna get a couple of these. Now, you see some of these clips, they just don't add up. I could have made a pseudo story, kind of fishing out an idea. Uh, however, let's look at it in this term. I, I, I sketched out act one, act two, and act three with your setup your conflict and your resolution. And the way this is set up is a three act narrative with all the pieces. Now in my story, in my in my random clips with my transitions, and I just didn't have a story. There was no purpose. It's just random clips of me doing things and going places. Just there's no all of that is in act one, the setup, right? It was no established premise. Like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go do a thing. There was no time set. There was really nothing going on. There was no conflict. There was nothing for my main character, me, to gain. The main plot line was for me to learn Japanese, but then that was done. That was set up. That was finished by the time I get to Act Two. There was no main goal to to achieve. Like there, I, I don't struggle to get to the third act. Let's take a simple, ba uh, simple story with a good guy, bad guy, right? Good guy wants to slay the dragon. He uh, finds a weapon in Act. In Act 1, he's called to adventure by telling, someone says that there's a dragon out there that is destroying all the lands. Act 2, the uh, hero is given a weapon, like a sword. And Act 3, he defeats the monster happily ever after. So, if you defeat the monster in Act 2, there's nothing for you to do in Act 3. And that was the problem with my blog yesterday is that I have defeated the monster by learning the Japanese in my lesson in Act 2, giving me doing absolutely nothing in Act 3. The point I'm trying to make is that this is hard, um, and that the first few videos I made were... I felt very successful in trying to implement uh, a new idea I had, and this idea is combining two things, both film and vlog kind of giving a style that does both. The, uh, the opportunity gives me a way to play in the vlog world while test out ideas in the film world and then use techniques from both sides. There's a lot of stresses with this because if I fail in one category, I fail in the other. 
vice versa, there could be success in both sides. The concept of learning language in front of the camera with the film background, it makes me really wonder like how much energy and effort do I put in all this. So I want to make sure that I'm on the same page with everyone moving forward, that I'm going to adjust and adapt these uh, vlogs to make it a little bit more constructive. I'm opening the subtitle section down in the bottom in the closed captions. I want this to be a community-based thing. Help me out, guys. If you have an opportunity to correct or any of my Japanese down here, I'd love for that. I'm going to reach out to you guys once in a while to, to, to see if this is making sense. As every day I'm going to learn and evolve and make sure that there is a lot uh, to do here uh, in terms of learning. But I was struggling the past day making sure that this was going to make sense. But I hope moving forward I can present to you something that's worth watching. Something that I feel is going to be worth just like using my strengths. So thank you so very much for continuing this journey with me. Um, I'm only four days in but uh, I, I, I feel like there's still a lot of work to be done. There's also a set of Japanese lessons that come with today's uh, vlog. So check that out down in the description. Uh, that won't be changed. But other than that, thanks for following along and I'll see you guys tomorrow.